most moisturizing creams are going to have about 70, 80% water in the formulation and the rest will be typically oils and other things as well. But that added moisture directly after that liquid is going to help to increase that hydration. Hey girlfriends, welcome to another Curly Chemistry video where we talk all things natural hair care science. If you are new to my channel, I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care. And today we are talking about different moisturizing methods that are out here in these natural hair care streets, okay? You got the LCO, you got the LOC, you got the PMP, you got the ABC. And we're gonna talk about them. I'm gonna break them down off from a scientific space. I'm gonna share the ones that work best for me. And I'm also gonna share a test that you can do at the end of this video to determine which one works best for you, okay? You guys know I don't waste any time. Let's get started. Okay, the first method is going to be the PMP method, which is actually a method that I created a few years ago and has been a game changer for me and so many others out here. Now, PMP stands for Penetrate, Moisturize, Protect. The penetrate piece comes from using penetrating oils on your wash day when you pre boom because when you do this, you actually help to reduce open cuticles that can lead to moisture loss, and it also helps to strengthen the integrity of the cuticles so it can function properly. Coconut oil, babasu oil, batana oil, muro butter, just to name a few, okay? And then the M pretty much represents moisturizing our hair. Typically a water-based moisturizer, liquid, or cream will suffice. And then the last P stands for protect. You want to use protecting oils to seal in that moisture, to lock in that moisture. This can be olive, this can be sweet almond, grapeseed, whatever you want to choose. But basically the M and the P comes in what you do in between your wash days. The big thing here is using penetrating oils for your pre poo water-based product for your moisture, and protecting oils to lock in that moisture as your final P. So P and P. Now the second method is gonna be the LOC method. Now this stands for liquid oil cream, where you are using a liquid, a water-based product. It can be sh straight up water, it can be aloe vera juice in the spray bottle, or it can be an actual liquid leave conditioner, water-based ideally. Your O is gonna be an oil. So typically a olive oil, or grapeseed sweet almond, any type of liquidy, low viscosity oil. And then your C represents your cream. So this is gonna be your basic moisturizer, cream-based moisturizer. Now, I think this method is great for those who have like high porosity hair, thick hair, because of that last step being that cream. So you're gonna get that additional moisture in there because you already have that liquid being your first moisturizer and you have the sealing of that oil on top of the cuticle but then by you adding that cream on top of it which is typically going to consist of more oils and water mainly water you're getting additional hydration on top of that oil now because you're going to smooth it into your hair it's going to break the bonds of the oil from that second layer that second step and go into the cuticle something like this with that cream being the last step would be great for those with thick hair for those who have thin hair, this may kind of weigh the hair down, but I would still try it just to see how your hair responds to it. Now, the last step is going to be LCO. Now, LCO stands for liquid cream oil. Now, between the LOC and the LCO, the LCO makes the most sense to me because you're putting that liquid as your first step on your moisturizer or on your hair as a moisturizer. And then you are putting the cream right after that. And most moisturizing creams are going to have about 70, 80% water in the formulation. And the rest will be typically oils and other things as well. But that added moisture directly after that liquid is going to help to increase that hydration. And then with the O being the last step, you are locking in all the moisture from the liquid in the cream. So in my opinion, the O should always be the last step. However, there are those who use the LOC cream being the last step and they love it, you know? So either way, these are different options that are worth trying out just to see how your hair responds to it. So we just discussed all three methods. Let's talk about how to test each method. Now, really quick for the PMP method, the first one that we just talked about, ideally you wanna do this around your wash day because of that pre-poo penetrating oil first step. So if you already washed your hair, you may wanna to wait to test PMP until your wash day comes up. But in the meantime, you can still test the LCO and the LOC method. And here's what I would do. Choose your liquid, whether it's water, aloe vera juice, whatever you want. Choose your moisturizer, your cream-based moisturizer, and then choose your oil, your O of your choice. One half of your head, so one side is going to be LOC. So do each step on this side of the head, the hair, the head. <laughs> on the other side, do the LCO method. <clears throat> so each step, 
LCO on the other side of the head. Put your hair in twists, probably like, you know, a few twists, not like a, a bunch of them, but just enough to set your hair so it's not like loosey-goosey all in your scarf, okay? And then go to bed. Wake up the next morning and unravel your twists, but make sure they're dry, make sure that they're not damp. <laughs> make sure they're nice and dry, and then evaluate your hair. See which side feels better, which one is softer, which one is shinier, which one is more manageable. That will let you know right there which method your hair prefers. So I highly recommend doing that. And once again, you can test the PMP method the same exact way, but just do it around your wash. They take that pre poo in to see how PMP works for you. All right, girlfriends, hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video. And once again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content. And of course, I have a question for you. What is your current moisturizing routine? How do you moisturize your hair? Do you do LCO? Do you do PMP? Do you do LOC? What do, or do you do something entirely different? Whatever it is, let us know what your moisturizing routine is. Comment below and I can have on the conversation with you. And if you want to learn more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, check out the ultimate hair care product cheat sheets up here. If you're having a hard time currently finding products that work best for your hair, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, moisturizer, hair growth oil, heat protectant, whatever it is, I have created literal cheat sheets just for you of favorite products, high quality products, highly rated products that I highly recommend all the highs. I highly recommend. So definitely check this out if you're having a hard time finding products at the moment. And if you want to connect with me one on one, I would love to coach you personally via Zoom video call where I can hear more about your hair care challenges, create a plan for you, including product suggestions. And for more information about that, check out the link below in the description box. And if you're ready to start your own hair care line or interested in starting your own hair care line, I would love to connect with you one on one to bring your ideas to fruition no matter where you are in the world. I look forward to chatting with you. For more information about that, check out the link below in the description box. All right, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.